given, that's how we live it. Don't be mad at the system, it's simply how we've existed. Virgo Tarot 2222. And this morning, Taurus, it's your bonus 3 a.m. Your 3 a.m. check up with me, D. Let's see what I go on for you, family. Taurus, 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 what I go on for you? As you can see, your girl can't sleep. Spirit team's always getting me up, and I'm always being obedient, people. I was resting and recharging in my garden at two. I lay my head down to go to sleep, and I heard it loud and clear. So I don't know if I'm going to do the other signs, but I know I'm going to be doing you and Virgo as a token of appreciation. Every waking moment or energy that I have spare, I will give and devote to you lot, because you lot are so great to me, so great to me, and I'm grateful. So as you can see, there's three packs in front of you, but there is many more that you cannot see on the desk. So I'll be going through whatever I'm guided to go through. So you might not, I might not even touch the romance, but I show it anyway, just in case, because you know me, you can get love anywhere on any of these channels. But something that's going to feed your soul and your spirit, few and far between people. So let's get to your reading. I all, you know, I already preached up all my cards with the freeing one. I've been sitting here, energizing, just waiting for a moment, just like this. And let's see what's at the bottom of the deck, people. Let's see what's at the bottom of the deck. Oh, really, Taurus? Temptation, the devil. So I see that you're resisting temptation, right? But you know what I feel? With the devil right here, number 15 and number 6. I feel like you've been letting your emotions get to you. I feel like the devil in your life is you. You are, you're stopping your own blessings with your mindset, with self-doubt, lack of patience. I see you questioning yourself, not feeling good enough, not feeling hurt. I see you fighting with yourself. Between where you are and where you want to be. What you say and what you don't say. For some of you, I see disruption in your system. I see pain in your body. Caused by stress, pain in the joints, pain in the chest, pain in the heart. I see headaches, migraines, lack of sleep, someone in utter turmoil at where they are unfocused, unmotivated, at the point of giving up. So I see you are your own devil, not believing in yourself. Speaking negativity to yourself. Most certainly not releasing and letting go of the past, of those things that no longer serve you. I see you angry, fire, so angry, it burns deep. You haven't learned to transmute that pain. I see that pain destroying your body. Destroying your mind, destroying your soul. I see you self destructing ever so often. You're motivated, you've got, you've got this, you're gonna do this. And there you go, hitting the self destruct button, resetting yourself all the way back to zero. 
having to start again. Having to speak life to yourself again. Having to build up your confidence again. After you knock yourself down. I see you second guessing everything. Not trusting your intuition. Talking a good game. But not really feeling it. Not really feeling it in your gut. Because your gut saying one thing. But your mind saying something else. And you're in turmoil because you don't know which one to believe. You're not trusting that gut instinct. You're letting the devil speak negative, toxic information in your ears. Telling you you're not good enough. You'll never make it. You're not lovable. You won't be hurt. You're wasting your time. I see you being your own devil, Taurus. Not really believing, not really flowing, not really being open to flow. I see you blocking the flow, the flow of energy, the flow of love, the flow of creativity. I see you stopping the healing process. This is causing a blockage in your life, in your health in your mental health. I see a lot of you have problems with mental health. Been having it for a while, but now what was in the dark has come to the light. I see that friends and family have now seen the problems. I see you isolating yourself. Me against them. Me against them. I see someone wanting a way out. Wanting to go towards the light. But their past, that dark energy that's within them, has more of a pull on them than the light. Spirit wants you to be open to flow to releasing and letting go of this energy. The energy that you're still holding on to, of pain, of rage, of unforgiveness, of anger. I see rage so deep. For some of you, you've taken that rage and transmuted it and flowing, healing nations, game changers, but for others, you've taken it and destroyed yourself. Taking drugs, gambling, drinking, everything but making it flow, letting it flow. Letting your emotions flow, letting the tears flow. I see you being so angry, no tears can come. They want you to let the tears flow, to cry yourself a river. I hear, is it Justin Timberlake? Cry me a river. It's time to cry yourself a river, Taurus, to let it out. Because I know that there's something that's burning deep inside of you that you want to release. Something that's got you stagnated, angry, and shook up. Shook up to your core. The pain is overtaking you and eating you up, causing physical pain, stopping the flow of energy, of tears, of empathy, of love. Somebody hurt you so bad to your core. But they want you to take that pain and transmute it and set yourself on fire with this passion. Transmute that pain, that very pain, that very pain that you have in this energy, take that pain 
and transmute it into love the highest energy do you know how hard it is to stay this angry to keep it up you are attracting so much negative shit into your life negative partners negative situations all because you're not releasing and letting go You're not releasing and letting go of this pain that's burning deep within you. But some of you have been triggered lately. And now it's just being reignited all over again, right? But they want you to transmute this pain. Transmute it. They want you to resist the devil. This devil energy. They want you to resist it. They want you to resist the calling the calling of being angry, the calling of unforgiveness. They want you to be open to change. They want your passion to be reignited again. They want you to sing. They want you to be peaceful and be at peace. I see you resisting change. Being used to what you're used to. And what you're used to is pain, conflict, Addictions, anger, trauma, abuse, shouting, arguing, hype, anything but love. And they want to bring in this new love, this pure love, brought in by God and Spirit themselves. But I see a resistance to the change. Scared of it, questioning it. This change could be in the form of a person, an opportunity. But I see you being cautious, questioning this person, questioning this opportunity. Being resistant to change. But I see that this opportunity or this person has been brought in to reignite your purpose, to reignite your passion. To let you know who the hell you are. You're an emperor. You're an empress. It's time to take back control of your life. Time to rebuild foundations and relationships. I see a resistance to this. Somebody's scared. Scared to go to rehab. Scared to tell people that they have an addiction. Scared to say that I need help. Scared to ask for help to say that I need, I can't do this alone. But they want you to take back control of your life. Stand in your power. The twin towers behind says that brings back stability in your life. Bring back stability in your structure, in your system, in your mind, in your soul. Then it enables you to move forward positively it opens up doors for you doors that was once closed doors that you closed yourself some of them are partnerships coming back to you some are fresh new ones coming in but there's a time of healing for you Taurus a time of acceptance a time of change you cannot resist this change that's coming upon your life It's bringing in a fresh breeze, a fresh positive breeze of change. I see children coming in. I see someone so upset, so so angry at the world, at themselves. You just want to be a mum, right? You just want to be a dad, right? Everywhere you turn, there's happy families, people are happy. And all you want is your own little bundle of joy, right? And this is the very thing. Maybe you had miscarriages. Maybe you lost a child. Maybe you got a bad doctor's report. But I see that you've made this very thing consume your life. Take it over. And now here you are. Full of resentment. 
angry. You're blocked, so you're definitely not getting pregnant. It's time to love yourself, to nurture yourself, to make yourself whole, to heal your heart, especially your mind and your spirit. I see you being a nurturing spirit, being able to give to others so freely, selflessly. I see you as mothers to the earth, especially as earth energy. If you don't already do so, it's time to go outside, ground yourself, people. Even just your garden, take off your shoes, walk around, sit down, lie down, do what you do. But get one with nature. Nature wants to heal you. Nature is healing. But I also see you being a parent, having that child. Because there's a number three, right? So you're celebrating something. For others, your job is nurturing. It's looking after people. Looking after a nation. Maybe just looking after a classroom. But your capacity to nurture people is limitless. And this is what's going to bring you forward to new possibilities, new opportunities. Because everything you do is for others, not for self. And that's going to propel your future forward. But it's time to resist this devil. Wherever this devil is for you. It's time to face it. Show no fear. It's been feeding on your fear this whole time. Fear of change. Fear of rejection. Fear of not being good enough. Fear of not making it. Fear of if they won't like me. All of these things. But yet you haven't even moved from your sofa, from your bed. And you thought of all these things. It's time to stop second-guessing yourself. Because I think that you're the one that's deceptive and envious of yourself. Which, it sounds crazy, right? But I think that... You tell yourself the things that you think people think about you. If that makes sense. You're your own friend enemy. You love yourself, yet hate yourself at the same time. I see you not having much trust for others. People taking your kindness for weakness. That good old nurturing spirit. Good old Taurus, they'll help. Good old Taurus, they'll always be there. I see you saying no more, pulling back your energy from these people that hurt your heart. Could have been in the present, could have been in the past. But I see you dwelling on this energy, dwelling on their on their jealousy, on their backstabbing. For some of you, this is your devil. Not releasing and letting go. Not releasing and letting go of the energies that hurt you, that caused you to be depressed, that spoke on your name. It's time to tap back into your energy to nurture yourself, to move past the pain towards opportunities that are coming in for you. It's time to stop resisting change in your life because they want to change that mindset. They want you to step into your power and know who and whose you are. Because you are children of kings, right? Time to get back on that path. Some of you are dropped off. Dropped off into the void. Into your mental depression or state. Some call it rock bottom. But like I said, the only way is up, right? And there you are, getting a lifeline from God and Spirit themselves. Giving you a quick access route out. It's like a free get out of jail card, right? They're realigning your path. Setting you up. Making crooked paths straight. Sending out a lifeline to you in your hour of need. It's time to take it, 
I see them sending help in the forms of messages, people, music. I see someone extending help to you to help you get back on your path, help you find your way. And there you are, finding your way because you faced your deepest fears and you're healed, healed and whole. Do you understand the process? There you are, embracing, tapping into the masculine, to the feminine. Powerful, pow. That's what makes you the boss that you are, the emperor that you are. When you embody both of these energies, it brings across balance in your life. And it's all because you faced your devil, faced your darkest fears. You killed that Emma Fafa. See, my swearing's got better. You killed him. And now here you are, being the lighthouse that you are, being healed, feeling whole, grounding yourself, seeking out spirit, speaking out God, detaching from those things that no longer serve you right now, letting go of that devil energy, tapping into the light energy, and finally, here you are, listening to your intuition, being the magician that you've always been, the one that you doubted, you doubt no more. I see you powerful, powerhouse. Let's get to the tarot people and see what they want to say to you. Get to the tarot, people. See what they're saying for you. Hopefully this gets more lighter as we go along. But really, it is what it is. Whatever spirit wants to say, it's going to be said, people. Because I feel like a lot of you talk the talk, but are not walking the walk, people. You're not walking the walk. You're not really believing when you're left alone in your room, when you're by yourself. You're not believing. You might believe when you're in two or three. But as soon as you get home, shut those doors. There comes the doubt. And what did I say? There comes the doubt. You not believing. Imprisoning yourself in what they said about you. Locking yourself away, isolating yourself. Some of you are surrounded by backstabbers and you're refusing to see. But some of you, I see that you've put yourself in this prison. You could easily get yourself out. But there you stand, complacent, comfortable. You're comfortable where you are. You want more, but you're not doing more. talk a good game but there you are comfortable not moving bound stuck stuck with that idea in your mind but not putting pen to paper not really believing that it can come true I see you giving up letting go of the dream that you once thought you could attain Some of you gone into depression. Not able to face anyone. Head in the sand type of moment. Friends and family might have turned against you. You're isolated and alone. It's time to look and get some help for your mental state. And there you are. Embodying your yin and your yang again. Tapping into that energy. For some of you, you're in an abusive relationship. The Eight of Swords, the lovers. You're feeling trapped in a marriage, in a relationship. But you're refusing to see that you have the power to release yourself, to let yourself be loosed, to get yourself out. 
you have the power to move away from this person, to let them go. I see a mentally or emotional or physical abusive person. Someone that keeps you isolated away from your family and your friends. Could be a Gemini. Someone who doesn't really talk to you, who shouts, arguments. See you looking yourself away. There's no gender. I see you being silenced, bound and trapped. Waiting on someone at the whim of someone else's call. I see you not speaking up. I see you giving up. Oh, and look at that. Two of cups. So yeah, some of you are in an abusive relationship, most definitely. So it's either a Gemini or a Pisces, Cancer or Scorpio. And this relationship does not seem to be healthy. I see karmic relationship that with help. No, yeah, I see karmic relationship. An abusive relationship. And I see someone else. A Pisces, Cancer and Scorpio. I see a Pisces, Cancer and Scorpio that wants to offer you love. So for some of you in a relationship, and I don't know if it's behind the person's back because I wouldn't really say that, but I just say that there's someone's watching you and they want to offer you love. They don't like the way that this person's treating you. They don't like it. And it's either this person wants to come in and help you or they want to, but I see that they want to offer you love. They're your get out card out of this relationship, this karmic cycle, this one that you're trapped and stuck in. But for others, the single ones, this is you trapped by your own devil, by your mind, refusing to see how great you are, not tapping into that power of the yin and the yang, just not doing it. And there you are now, happy. Someone offering you love, but only once that you tap into this energy, accepting your dark side and your light side. You see that they're naked, all of their sins are on display. So it's time to accept everything that you've done. Those things that you cannot change, those things have you trapped, scared to move forward, scared to get out of that relationship, I told you I'm speaking to emperors and empresses, know who you are, know who you are, bottom of the deck, I see brighter days ahead of you, Taurus, brighter days, but it's time for you to face your devil, Whatever the devil is for you. But most of you, you are your own demon. <laughs> demon, your own devil. Your own blocker. You're blocking your future. You're blocking your marriage. You're blocking your love. You're blocking your growth. With unnecessary thoughts and feelings that you need to release and let go. Time to forgive. Not just the people that hurt you, but yourself. It's a form of release, and it's also a time to be open to flow. But I hear it's time to cry, to let the tears flow. This is a form of release. Tears are healing. They will heal your soul. They also bring clarity. So a lot of you are blocking your tears time to open up and let those tears flow, open up and let the healing flow, because as God said, it is done, 
and so if it's done in the heavens it's done on earth completion completions of cycles and ending of a relationship or a marriage that was not serving you anymore and this is where you're going to start blossoming this is where your growth will come in I see your creativity growing I see you releasing and letting go and there you are healing and healing I see you dancing to the tune of your own beat now and there comes love coming in for you love begins and then love abounds people wow you get a double dose of love Taurus but that's how much your spirit team loves you first you get the growth see how it works the sun comes in yeah then you open up then it's done then you start to grow it could be your baby your belly your bank account you just get growth love comes in marriages abundance harmony and peace so much peace and love keeps growing you're practically bursting with love that is an overflow but you need to understand that these things do not happen overnight I once heard it in a current who said it but you can't plant a seed and expect it to grow in the same season it just doesn't work my mum would say a watch pot never cooks so it's time to plant that seed that intention and leave it with faith and it will grow they want you to use discernment in this time tap back into your power know who you are like I said you've got some snakes in your garden some of you are surrounded by them Surrounded by the fakery. Surrounded by them. You don't even know that they're there. You've got blindfolds onto them. You're blind to these people. But they want you to use discernment to weed out the snakes in your garden. Because look how much success and growth is coming in your last two cards. These two are coming in. And they come in after a challenging time, people. So spirit's not saying things are not rough. Of course it's rough. You have to take the good with the bad. But after the bad times always comes the good. And it's leading you to victory and success. Success and growth, people. A double dose again of success. A double dose of love. What more could you ask for? All they want from you is for you to come up out of the shadows. They keep saying it to you. And take back control of your life. And then you will see your dreams come to fruition. They will come. But first you need to confront. Confront you. Because you're your own devil. Sort out your mindset. Release and let go. Reflect. Because you attract the soulmates based on the lessons that you need for growth. So ask yourself, Taurus. Is this hindering you? Or is it supporting you? heart chakra it's time to awaken it and let it's time to awaken your heart center and let love in Taurus because true love is coming in for you and it will be or is a divine connection and your last card past life soulmate because this person coming in or the one that you are with now that you're happy with you've had many past lives before and I'll give you the relationship cards because they've been sitting here charging. So why not give it to you people? Just give it, huh? A word for Taurus, people. A word for Taurus. We tap into the 3 a.m. energy. As we tap in. What did I tell you? It's time to forgive. Heal those family issues. Because as you forgive your parents, people, you're going to benefit so much more. I told you a lot of you are not releasing and letting go and look what comes in for you as long as you do these steps a soulmate yes this is a soulmate and you'll be in love so much passion so much joy so much peace so lighten up and 
go and spread your energy, flirt people, people want to see you, stop letting your religious factors stop you from having love, stop you from climbing up the ladders, because for some of you, your religion, your spirituality is stopping you, is your demons, is your devil, it's time for you to know that true love is coming in, it's coming in for you, you've been doubting all this time, but it says yes, this is a romance of a lifetime, and it's going to be new love people, New love with a new person or re-existing passion, love with someone that you're with. It's going to be ignited again. But they say a new person has stirred your romantic feelings. So maybe you're stepping out. But it's time to free yourself, people. It's time to take back control of your life. I said it about five times. Release that X. Release them. It's time to clear your energy. And your last card is engagements, people. Your love life is ascending or about to ascend to a higher level of commitment. Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. Your girl's going to be out in a minute. Going to just pull two, three cards of this and the angel cards. Going to see what they want to say to you. Any word for Taurus in this 3 a.m. hour. You hear my grandson getting up, people. One second. It is 3 a.m. and he's staying over tonight. So excuse me. I am leading you towards the answer to your prayers. Please listen to and follow the steps I am communicating with you through your dreams and thoughts. So they're trying to communicate with you through your dreams and your thoughts, Taurus. Listen to the steps that you've been guided to take. Because they're going to lead you to victory. Because your desired outcome is coming to fruition. So keep up the good work, people. Keep it up. Keep it up. As I keep my voice down. And let's see if they've got anything to say to you. With these angel answer cards. Anything for the Taurus nation? Any words for my Taurus people? Anything at all? Okay. So we leave it here, recovery, a recovery of finance, so your debts wipe clean, a recovery of health, a recovery of mental health, I see everything that that devil stole from you coming back to you, I see that you've been recovering all of your finances, recovering your love life, recovering your mindset, I see you changing up everything getting back everything that you lost and that was stolen from you I see spirit and God bringing in this change but they need you they need you to do the work to release the devil the devil in your life whether it be that person that addiction or whether it's you your mindset the old you because for some of you it's time to release the old you Justin Timberland said it the best The old me is dead and gone. So it's time to bury that bitch. So yeah. This is your girl D Virgo Tarot. Two, 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 and two Taurus. Sending you love and peace. Are we gonna play now? Ready for the show. I'm about to take down. You already know. Get the fuck out of my face now. Yeah, you gotta.